Hello everyone, this is Shai Krizwan. Currently, I am pursuing uh, data science certification from IB Professional School. So, as part of our Power BI curriculum, today I will be showing you a sales analysis on a grocery store data set. So, before getting into the analysis report, let me show you the data set which I have used for the same. So, this is the data set having transactions for 1997, 1998, for uh, both year returns, store data, customer data, and you can see the customer name, marital status, gender, and all these details we have. So when we have a multiple tables, we will do the first thing we have to do is to get the relationship created for all the tables. So as you can see, I have created relationship between customers to transactions, one to many, calendar to transaction date, that is one to many, and so on. So once our relationship is all good, we can go ahead and get our analysis report done because after the relationship is perfect, we can get our uh, reports accurately without any error. So this is the report or dashboard you can say I have created for the same. But this is just a sales analysis report. So I'll be sharing you the sales data only. So starting, we have a total revenue data. Total revenue has been calculated by using here you can see total revenue. Total revenue has been calculated uh, using the SUMX function where we have simply calculated the total revenue of all the products we have sold so far for both the year that is 97 and 1998. Coming on to the second data we have total profit so how we have created the total profit for the same total profit has been created using simple total revenue minus total cost that's all nothing else just directed our total revenue minus total cost we have got the total profit that is 1.05 billion that's the combined profit for 97 and 1998 data uh, next uh, data we have is of quantity sold how many product quantity we have sold for all the years so for this data we have used quantity sold here it is the quantity sold we have simply sum up all the transaction quantity and we have got the total quantity sold for both the year that is 97 and 1998 it is 833,000 sum around now this is the most important as you can see we have uh, in the sales report we have tried to get which product has been are the most selling for both the year that is 1997 and 1998 in terms of revenue generation in terms of sales in terms of revenue generation you can say in terms of profit as well because the product which has been sold the most surely going to give us the best profit so this is Hermino's green pepper has been the best selling product for the end combined 1997 and 1998 year. So how we have calculated this best selling product? So we have used the function of top end using the filter function from the same. Okay. So after that, uh, let's come to this one. As you can see. We have categorized our products, whichever products we are selling into three categories. That is under $1 products, uh, between $1 to $3 product, that is mid-tier products. And the third one is the greater than $3 products. It can be of any cost. So uh, if we calculate our revenue based on these three categories, we can see easily see that 66.6% 26% has been the revenue generation alone from this mid tier products that is $1 to $3 products so the company should focus on more selling the products which is under 3000 and above one uh, under $3 and above $1 that is $1 to $3 product because they are the most selling from by this company in the year 1997 and 1998 
Now, coming on to the chart, chart we can simply easily see that this is the 1997 data and this is 1998 data. We can clearly see that the, there's a jump of almost more than a 100% uh, loan and and we can also analyze that during the January in both the years the sales were quite uh, normal January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October but in the November to December that's, that it's a kind of a festive season that is November and December mostly most of the festivals are in the November and December festival in the US and all so this is the boosting period time so company should focus more on selling the products on these months because it is going to generate more revenue for the company now the most important part is the key performance indicator we can see easily see that is the 1998 revenue is 1.2 million dollars that is total revenue growth and how much it has been increased compared to the previous one that is 112.8 percentage more compared to the 1997 so it surely shows a green signal that the sales are getting high so as the profit as well as the revenue of the company is going high but uh, coming to the returns uh, getting increased as well with the same proportion as we can see the return has also been increased 114.22 percent means there was no uh, uh, you can say there was no steps taken to reduce the returns as you can see in 1997 if returns were 5 so in 1998 the returns are 10 there's no steps or measures have been taken compared to the 97 returns to the 98 returns at the returns as the returns has also been increased to 114.22 percent so analyzing the uh, in a nutshell we can easily say our revenue has been increased, our profit has been increased. We have sold the uh, 800 plus quantities of all the products and our best selling product is the Hermanos Green Pepper of all the categories and, uh, and if we categorize the products between the pricing from 1 to 3 dollars, we have been getting the most number of sales or say revenue from 1 dollar to 3 dollar products and we have to work on the sales returns to decrease the same so that was all my analysis for the same hope you guys enjoyed the analysis and if there are any suggestion or feedback you can surely comment on the below thanks a lot shy Chris once signing off Thank you.